Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com So I've got an updated review of the Resurrection Remix 2.0 um, This is the 4.0.4 um, ROM um, The version 2.0 from version 1.91 has um, the latest SIA kernel um, Also it's totally rebuilt, um, light sensor fix, swipe uh, works now and uh, music FX and DSP manager uh, updated and uh, working better. Beats was removed. Um, DPI issues were fixed with um, tablet mode. Um, and uh, a couple other things were updated. Um, but let's just do another review um, here. And app 2 sd working fine here for me. And uh, I just tested this since a lot of you are using app 2 sd and it's working fine. Uh, for keys, try using uh, Keys Air. Um, most custom ROMs like AOKP, like this one, it's not going to support uh, Samsung Keys USB because it's not, you know, it's not an official um, Samsung ROM. Uh, you'll have to be on one of those TouchWiz-based ROMs for that to work. So about phone uh, 4.0.4. Um, since there's a lot of noobs um, out there, so I'll go over everything again. Um, of course, let's just go over the system settings. The best thing about ROM control, um, or AOKP is ROM control here. So go to uh, ROM control, general UI, um, recent Windows style. You can try choose a WebOS if you want. Um, that way you can get a recent style like this. Swipe up or down, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, I like that. And uh, LCD density. Um, you can actually just flash the tablet UI to get the tablet um, version here. And uh, custom carrier label. Uh, hold, hold back to kill. I really love this. You can kill apps um, be on your browser. Hold down the back button. Instantly killed. Um, so that's good. And uh, long press home action. Um, navigation bar. You can actually add navigation bar like a Galaxy Nexus if you want. And, mess with all this and even have a long press action, action um, lock screen options I usually like to change this to octo right away quad or octo uh, quad is four octo is eight and you can set uh, different apps to launch camera um, SMS you know uh, phone um, and if you want a custom app hit the custom app button and the applications and uh, you can put browser there and now when you do when you do the lock screen you get all these things and you can add up to eight there um, also I do recommend using the enable fast torch turn it off hold down the power button boom you got flashlight there um, I think I'm getting better at this maybe I should keep doing this and I can go faster um, you can enable calendar <clears throat> and uh, you can enable calendar here and uh, enable multiple events and the time range um, for like the next week or whatever and then when you when you turn on your phone your uh, your calendar will show up here really quick um, I don't have actually have calendar um, things to do here but we can try that real quick open up calendar and I can show you the calendar um, real quick here and let's say um, today is the 31st so let's say at 12 I gotta go do something. Um, gas. Alright. And let's say I gotta go um, at 2 I gotta go uh, whoop ass. And then now when you turn your phone on kick ass at 12 and then it'll go to whoop ass at 2. Oh yeah. Um, so let me go back to settings. That's awesome. Uh, I love that stuff. A volume wake, all this stuff. You can even uh, have weather come on here. Um, you'll have to have the weather on, so go to weather here. Enable weather, custom location. Let's put uh, um, San Francisco. My favorite place on earth there. And uh, you can. Um, you can also start a custom app like a weather weather app uh, when you click on the image. Um, so it should it should pop up there in a bit. It takes a while sometimes. Um, so I've got the weather in there. Power menu options. 
Um, that's when you hold down the power button. I'm going to add a torch and also a navigation bar toggle. So when I hold the, uh, hold the power bar, you can see the uh, navigation bar controls the torch. And also you can get rid of it if you want to. Now it's gone. Simpler. So that's really cool. Power saver. Um, you can enable power saver and uh, you know, let's say screen off data action. Um, you can turn data off. Um, you know, that way it doesn't use any data while you know your phone is off. Um, you won't get any updates, but that's a great way to save uh, you know power, battery life. <laughs> um, LED options is great. Um, not sure how this works actually. This one, it should give you um, notifications. Um, all right, let me set that. It should give you a little notification there when you have like a mail and stuff. Um, performance, I set it at 1.4. Uh, I wasn't really be been able to get to 1.6 on this one. Um, governor, this one actually comes with Pegasus Cute. I think that's one of the newer governors. Working pretty well. Um, you can set it at boot once you find out the max maximum frequency. Um, you can just run you know, the highest clock rate and run quadrant and see if it, your phone locks up. If it doesn't lock up, you can apply at boot. Free memory, um, it will automatically kill apps if you have less than 100 megabytes set at boot. Um, all this stuff, fast charge if you want to charge your phone. Um, faster on your computer USB, you can enable this. Now when you connect it to your computer, it's only going to charge um, the phone and you're not going to be able to use it as a USB disk drive, but it will charge faster and you can turn it off here. Startup peaks, I'm not going to get into it. battery clock, all this stuff in ROM control and uh, themes. So if we can get, I think you can actually get um, themes and uh, flash it in clock or my recovery and change themes if you want. Device settings, um, you can enable stuff like this screen mode, um, sensors, you can play with that. Uh, more things you can play with. Um, but 2.0 brings a little bit of changes. If you're doing fine on 1.9.1, I would just stay on there. Um, but I know a lot of you had questions about the SD card, external SD card, so let's go look into that next. So I've got it connected to my computer. I'm going to turn on mass storage. And uh, let's go to our computer and see what it looks like. So I've got uh, both drives pop out right, uh, right away. I think O is my internal and M is um, M is my SD card. So it's not going to work as an MTP device, but you can still connect to both of them. Um, but let's go next, look at the, um, the music and stuff, uh, music player, and see if it picks it up. So this ROM comes with Apollo music uh, player here. And uh, I've actually inserted two uh, MP3s, one on my internal and one on my XD card. Um, so it actually picks up both of them. Track one is on my SD card and set three is on my uh, internal. So both are working fine. There we go. There we go. So it's working. Um, and you can also download Google uh, Music off the Play Store if you want and uh, stream your music. Um, and this one, I'm not sure it's going to pick it up. Let me see. Yeah, it picked up both of my uh, music. You just have to put it in the music folder, I think, um, on both. And it should be fine. It should pick it up really easily. And uh, let's go look at the SD card, um, the access of it. Um, so this is my SD card, and uh, or it could be my internal. I'm, I'm not sure here. Um, let's go to external SD. See if that works. So if that doesn't work. So what you do is um, go to favorites. Um, there we go. You can go to uh, MNT EMMC. So I think this is the uh, SD card, and you can choose um, the actual internal SD card is in. Internal is an SD card. So those are the two locations. Um, next, I know some of you are having trouble with titanium backup finding your files. Um, this is how you do it. Go here, um, go to preferences, and uh, if you go down, 
uh, backup folder location. Um, you can hit detect and then uh, hold device and uh, it will find it for you. Uh, MNT SD card or it should be an MNT EMMC. And you can also change the uh, location of it if you want to and they, that way you can um, back up all your stuff. Um, other than that, it's a pretty good ROM and I just wanted to do an updated review. Um, just briefly go through everything here. And uh, if you run Quadrant, um, you should get, I got 3723, you should get near 4000 over, maybe even 4500 4, if you run it often. Um, but definitely this is still one of the best ROMs uh, for your Galaxy S2, if not the best. And 2.0 is out now and uh, I hope uh, that was a good overview of it. And uh, go ahead and flash it. There's one ROM file you have to flash. Um, oh, and uh, let me show you the tablet mode real quick. If you want to get into uh, tablet mode, make sure you copy the, all the five files over. And this is actually the black pitch theme here. And uh, let's change it um, to tablet mode. Um, just reboot into recovery. Hold down the power button. Reboot and recovery. Okay. And let's just flash the um, tablet mode uh, files. And... Uh, and then reboot and you should be in tablet mode. So let's go here. Install zip from SD card. Um, choose zip from SD card. Go find the files uh, where you put all the resurrection files. I put in my download. RESU folder there. And there's the tablet UI mode. Uh, flash that. If you want to ever go back, go back in here and flash the um, the other one. The default UI. And also, if you want uh, default Google Apps, you can do the default apps, or you know, Pitch Black is what it's on right now. So I'm just going to show you the tablet mode real quick, and I think we're all done. Um, that's done. It takes like a second. Reboot system now, and I think you can actually use ROM Manager. Um, choose the install ROM option, but do not wipe, and it'll just automatically reboot and install it for you. I think. I haven't tried it, but it could possibly work. But do not flash the Clockwork Mod Recovery on ROM Manager. That will just, I don't know, that will ruin your system. They're not really made for Samsung devices. Um, they're really made for uh, Galaxy Nexus. And uh, I'll be back when this reboots. So it's rebooting. Every time you switch from tablet to phone mode or to phone to tablet mode, um, your Android apps are going to also be updated so in the beginning you'll get this when you switch um, but so that's the apps are compatible with the tablet mode um, but you can see the resolution now has changed Oops. Um, and I'll be back when this is done so this is what Resurrection ICS uh, looks like in tablet mode um, just uh, more DPI's now you can put so many apps here um, that's really cool let me try to move the camera over here. Wow. So you can put like, you know, almost like 100 apps or whatever. And you get the little bar there. Um, so there you go. And you can always switch it back uh, by, you know, flashing the other stuff. Um, but this is looking pretty good. Anyway, um, so you can do a lot of things with Resurrection ICS. And uh, go ahead and flash it. Um, let me know what you think. If it's the first time, you'll probably like it. Um, and camera should be working just fine. Yes. And uh, I guess that's it. And uh, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyst2root.com. We update you once a week uh, with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email. And if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button. It helps me. Um, and the subscribe button up there if you have thanks a lot and use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus Anyway, folks um, stay high on Android and leave any comments uh, What you think of this ROM on this video or on my blog at galaxy s2 roots.com and thanks you guys for supporting my channel uh, I'm gonna get really high on Android. Yeah